And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield ship building video. Today we have the Pathfinder coming at you, and if you want to find all the parts we used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is listed in the description. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, as well as everything does help out. Now this is a glitched ship build, we're using some um, half-step fractionals in this piece right here for placing modules at a half-step down off the grid and um, half step to on the x on the y axis as well so x and y axis has some half steps there or yeah x and y and yeah let's go to the build let's go ahead and break this apart into multiple sections so that way we can quickly get to the build and we are going to start off with the um this guy the landing bay so the only thing we're going to use this here is to just get the appropriate alignment to start off so um yeah let's get started with it just go ahead and move the 120 ld landing bay and on top of that to the front we're gonna move over a hope tech spine yep hope tech spine move over another hope tech spine and in front of that we're gonna bring over the the hope 11 docker so that is our starting point let's move this uh landing bay away put it to the rest of the habs over here <laughs> just for now but yeah these are pieces we st we're starting with. All right. So how do we do this? We're going to move over the 104DS mag inertial reactor. So move this over first. Move um, And then move, move over an R4000 alpha grav drive. And then we're going to set up a fractional. That's right. We're setting the fractionals right away. Let's bring in a horizon weapon mount. And what we're going to do is drop this a half step down off the grid. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just put any weapon you want and then select both of these guys. So what I'm doing is selecting my mouse, shift, click, drag, select the other one, and then select the weapon, whatever is up top on this um, weapon mount. Right, so I'm just hitting click, shift, click, drag, shift, click, drag. Or on your controller, you're just tapping RB on all three of these. All right, tap RB on all, throw the, all three of these. And then duplicate. On keyboard, you hit Control G. It duplicated down. On controller, you tap Y. Then accept the movement by tapping either spacebar, enter, or A on the controller. Boom. All right, so delete these guys up top. And then what you're going to do now is like, I mean, I have these guys. I do have these guys here. But I'll show you how we do first. Okay, so the goal is to not only have this go a half step down, we're also going to move it a little bit inside into the um, inside the x axis a little bit too. All right, so we're going to do this because like I want to get the these modules as an example. I want to get them like inside inside these um, hope tech spines. All right, so what's cool about the hope tech spine is the walk walkable area is like this this tube area right here this little tube all right so everything else around it is not accessible when you're walking the hab so that's that's one thing i'm trying to do i, I, I try to avoid putting things putting modules externally into the halves. So I'm, I'm not quite there yet <laughs> in, in doing that um but yeah i like to keep the i like to keep the habs inside as clean as possible right now but um habs and the cockpit but totally up to you guys totally up to you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a, an equipment plate on sure let's put them let's put it on both of them put it on both of them and then we're gonna move off the move out the mag inertial reactor just move them out both of these pieces and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a um, Vanguard obliterator auto projector on top of that so you just I'm gonna keep this as reference <laughs> so you know but I'm, yeah I'm setting these up so I'm gonna just set both of these up right here and then just note that we're trying to move it in um, pretty much as close as possible. So we'll find out. So let's see. Where, where did it end up here? So it ended up a little bit inside. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is try to... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to keep one of these here for now. So I can, so I know that alignment. Because basically, what you're doing here is you're eyeballing it. It's not snapping to anything. So I'm just going to eyeball it, 
I want it to be a little bit in the inside, so it's probably going to be like right about there. All right. Then I'm going to take this Demo Swing E, bring it in, do the variation glitch. So flip glitch or variation glitch, all right? Um, basically, we're just moving it in. I have the option to flip it by tapping Z or switch through um, the variations by tapping the keyboard or the, the arrow key. On the controller, you're tapping either Y to flip it or you're tapping on a directional pad here, the directional pad to go through the variations. All right, so you're going to take it, move it in, move it to, yeah. So you, need, you see it's clipping the equipment plate, which is fine. Then I'm just going to go through the very, I'm going to flip it, I'll flip it. So flip it once by tapping Y or um, Z on the keyboard and flip it again by tapping Z or Y. Then, it, then cancel the movement by either tapping Escape, Tab, or B on the controller. And you'll notice it'll stay in place. Select the rest of the ship. You see it's connected. And you also see that the weapon and the, and the equipment plate are co is connected as well. All right. Then to finish off this piece, we're going to bring in another wing. Right? We're going to bring in another wing. Just move it in right there. Move it in. Yeah, just close the gap a little bit. Try to eyeball it as best you can. And then I'm just going to do the variation. Um, variation. Switch, so flop, sw swap variations. Then cancel the movement by tapping escape tab or be on the controller. Right? And if I double click, it's there. So what I'm doing is basically using the weapon to bridge between the equipment plate and to also bridge again with the other demo swing E. All right, so that is the block I'm trying to set. Oh, <laughs> of course it's not gonna, it's gonna hate what I do. So, all right, let's do it again. Let's move it in. And eyeball it, eyeball it. Variation. Cancel, double click, make sure everything's connected and everything looks like it is. Perfect. So yeah, um, that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep that and um, instead of just trying to do the same thing on the other side, right? It's like we just use this to set up the. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess it, I guess I could just 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 on one side anyway, um, and I'll delete this. But what I would do is just um, move this out, double click this, and then duplicate it. Right, so double click. It selected all the modules, the equipment plate, the two demo swing E's, and the and the weapon, and duplicate it both at the same time. And then I could do take this piece and just move it to the other side because it's exactly where, or hopefully it's exactly where I want it to be. All right, let's see. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is that I need to flip something to attach to the equipment plate within this like this module set. So I'm gonna like the. The, the nice piece that I like to use is going to be the Stroud Cap B. All right, Stroud Cap B. It has a, oops. <laughs> I like using the Stroud Cap B. So Stroud Cap B, what I like about it is that it has a top and bottom snapping point and you can flip it, all right? So that's the that's a great part about it because what you need to do now is just use a bunch of flip glitches to kind of get these in place. So flip glitch this one in and it should be in there, double click. Cool, everything is attached. I'm double checking to see if this is, if it's too close. I don't know, did I make it too close? I'm gonna flip to close an occupied snapping point real quick. No, that's good, all right. All right, so I just had, had to just check myself. All right, so I'm gonna do a flip glitch on the other side and we'll, and I think we do have a, you have more glitches ahead, so I'll explain it when the actual module I'm gonna work with is there. Okay, so those two are in place. Those are placeholders for me, so I can then just move in the mag inertial reactor and then the R4000 alpha grab drive, all right? So that's setting up the alignment um, because since these guys don't have a flip or variations, I can't just flip it in. I have to use a duplication glitch to get it into where I, I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is, like, like, like I did, I flip glitch these guys into place, and then I'm gonna remove them, 
and use the standard at the standard duplication glitch to move it up. So the standard duplication glitch rules is that you may be able to duplicate the modules at, in the work area you're in, in the work area you're in. All right, and it needs to have a free and available snapping point in there. So there's that equipment plate that has nothing attached to it, right? So that equipment plate is free and available. So as you saw, um, and that's how I was able to do the flip glitch in there too. So there is a free and available snapping point. So remove your like, little helpers, then select both of these guys. Duplication glitch. All right, duplicated this side. That's fine. That's fine. So basically, it likes to move to a free and available snapping point, wherever it is. So the free and available snapping point to this this guy was right here, right by the, the inertial reactor, which is fine. So I'm going to select these guys again. Oops. Select these guys again. <laughs> Try to select these guys. There you go. And then duplicate it, and duplicated, both duplicated up. All right, so I mean, if you want to avoid, let's say it's like, all right, you know what, Jeremy, I don't, I, let's keep it simple. I don't want to, I'll, I'll just do one at a time here. You can just duplicate it one at a time too. All right, so that's another way to do it. It's like, all right, let me just keep it simple. Duplicate one at a time. <laughs> you see, oh, duplicate it down first, it's fine, so yeah. I, like I didn't block off that that snapping point. So like I said, it likes to move to a free like the closest available snapping point to it. it could be down low, could be down sides, but once you cover these pieces up, right, to the point where hey, the only the only way it can go now because the free and available snapping point is only up, then that's the only direction it could go. I need to move in the 500T HE3 tank as well. So what I'm going to do is a duplication buddy glitch. So I'm going to create a buddy stack right here, and what I'm doing is going to select both of these modules, and um, so I'm, I'm just clicking and shift, click, drag the one select on top. So that's just keyboard on the controller. You're tapping RB on both of these. So on the buddy stack, I just use you can use any module you want as long as it has a top and bottom snapping point. And the one I want, like the reason why I have two here is because I want to block the snapping point on the bottom. All right. For this one, you probably want to snap like put one down here as well. To block the snapping point in the bottom so that the only way it can go between these two is like the, between these two the only free available snapping point is to go up so that's the free available snapping point up there so duplicate it tapping i like hitting control g on the keyboard or you're tapping y on the controller it duplicated up accept that move by tapping either spacebar enter or a on the controller and you can see that the um, 500T HE3 tank is in there, so that's perfection. I'm gonna delete my stack, gonna delete all these helpers. So even this Horizon weapon, that was helper, that was, all these were helpers, perfect. So here we are. That's exactly where we want to be. We are going to now move in a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> as, I, as I think about it, it's like, I see I have all this stuff, I have this stuff, yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to bring in, um, I mean, I could do this. I could do that. Let's start with this. Tail cap. Put it right behind the 104DS mag inertial reactor. Boom. And then what we're going to do, like, um, what we're going to do is move in the Hope Tech pipes and use a variation glitch. So yeah, same thing as a flip glitch, same process. Um, but yeah, you're just swapping through the variations. So bring it in, swap through the variations, cancel the movement, double click everything, everything's still in there. Move this guy up once, bring the Hope Tech thruster in, then bring it back down. And then we, I, I, I know I deleted my buddy stack, I need another buddy stack, I'm gonna use this companion way. All right, I'm going to shift click to move this down. Boom, there it is. All right, that's down there. Then I'm gonna move over to Stroud Cap A, right? I'm gonna connect it to the um, mag inertial reactor. All right, so let's see, there's like all these other free snapping points right there. So I'm going, I want it to move it to the, not the, what did I say? Mag inertial reactor to reactor. All right, and then I'm going to use, so yeah, that's in place. Variation glitch, cancel the movement. There, perfect. Do the same thing on the other side. Variation glitch, boom. All right, build the other side. So we got this guy, build that in, bring in the Hope Tech um, pipes or whatever. Yeah, Hope Tech pipes first. Move this guy up once, 
move. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can just. So since I move this up, there's a free and available stepping point right there. Let me just select these guys and just do the duplication buddy glitch. There. So we could just we could have just done it that way. So yeah, you could use the duplication buddy glitch glitch with a, with a stack of floating modules, or if you're just using a piece that's already connected to the ship, you could do that as well. All right. Where are we at? Um, we have these guys. We have these guys. Um, let me see. Where do I want to go from here? Let's do the weapons. So yeah, we already have two Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors being used for the um, half-step glitch process. But we also have these guys. So these two are going to be placed right here. And the way how I placed it was I used the helper. I kind of brought in a, um, what is it called? Uh, Hope Tech Riser. So yeah, it's not, so it doesn't, yeah, it's not in the way of anything. So that's cool. Um, and then I just had these guys floating out here. Um, let me just space them out apart. But yeah, there's two nullifier there, two, and there's, yeah, a set of two weapons on each of the mount on this demo spine seat. So let me show you how you do that real quick. So I am going to... So now there's a, only a... Oh. <laughs> so I didn't get them all. Alright, so this is how I set it up. I set these in the... I set the suppressors on the inside because um, it's going to be covered up by the Stroud Cap A. So I want to be at like... It's probably like right there. Yeah, it ends up being like right there. So I want it covered up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select all the weapons. All right, take, oh, I think it, let me bring my buddy stack closer. So I does duplication buddy glitch, select these guys, select the top on my buddy stack, duplicate it up, it's floating, perfect. Then select the guys that are floating and select the bottom module in my buddy stack to duplicate it down and now you have two weapons of each in there. So that's how I rolled with it. Delete all these duplicates. Bring these guys to the top of the Hope Tech risers. Then delete the Hope Tech risers. Select both of the spines. And then duplication glitch it down. There you go. So that's how I set that one up. Then we're going to bring in the Stroud caps. So uh, variation, because it only has two variations. If you go through the flips, there's one, two, three, four flips. So that's why I say, all right, there's two variations to it. So swap through the variations. Then I'm going to bring these guys into the side. So it's going to, so what I did, all right, what I'm doing here is I'm connecting to this, this free and available snapping point on the Demos Wing E. So that's why I had two pieces of the Demos Wing E clipped in there right away. So that's what I'm doing with this guy. So the, the Nova Breaking Engine, bring it in. Flip, glitch that one in. Boom, other side. Flip, glitch that one in. Double click, everything's connected, perfect. To finish these guys up, we have two Hope Tech pipes. We're gonna bring it in. So what I'm gonna need to do, so I want it to connect to the, um, to these, to the Hope Tech pipes in there. So you got the, Ho the Hope Tech pipes A mid. So what I'm gonna do is variation glitch. So just get it close to where it needs to be. Variation glitch to close an occupied snapping point. So I'll flip or flip glitch to a close an occupied snapping point. This one only has flips. Flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement. Double click the rest of the. Um, whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. Double click the rest of the ship. Hit spacebar or A on the controller. Let things turn green. It basically moved the rest of the ship to that floating Hope Tech pipes. Then accept the movement by tapping either spacebar, enter, or A on the controller. Double click the rest of the ship, and you see it's in there. Perfect. Same thing on the other side. Get it close to the Hope Tech pipes A mid right there. Boom. Flip once or twice, cancel the movement. Double click the rest of the ship. Hit spacebar, enter, or A on the controller. Let things turn green, then accept the movement by tapping space, enter, or A. Wait, wait, wait. Did I, did I say that correctly? Double click the rest of the ship or tap LB on the controller to select the rest of the ship. Tap spacebar or A on the controller. Let things turn green. Then accept the movement by tapping either spacebar, enter, or A on the controller. There we go. That's it. And the last piece we need to move in there will be the NG20 landing gear. 
move it to the bottom here. We're going to use the variation glitch. And then cancel the move by tapping either escape tab or B on the controller. Double click. Everything is connected. Perfection. All right. So that is that. Next part we're going to move in is going to be our, um, our what's it called? Demos control station. So we're going to move that in. So we need to move the tail caps temporarily out first. Bring this in. Um, go ahead and bring this in. Yeah, so Demos control station 2x1, tail companionway 1x1, one one, top A. What are options do we have out here? Storeroom or companionway. Okay. Wait, what are what are what's what's the difference between A and B? I never looked at it. <laughs> it's like, what is it? So you got the tail. Oh, it has it has snapping points on the sides. But this one's top C. Top C, top D. Is it just is it just the the stripes or whatever on it? Hmm. <laughs> it's like, huh. It's like, hmm, hmm. All right, well, stick with what we have. Move this in. Uh, on the bottom, we have the cowling. We have um, the landing bay where we need to move in and flip glitch it in. Flip once, flip twice, cancel the movement. Double click. Everything that's in there, Cole. Um, all right, let's move back the tail caps. Flip glitch those guys in. Boom. And then we need to use a duplication glitch to move this down. So I'm going to duplicate a tail companion way. Attach the demo, demo enhance. Oh, this is the wrong cockpit. It's supposed to be a samurai. So I use that. I like to use the. Well, you can use. I mean, you can use whatever one you want, but I like to start with the bottom. <laughs> the bottom level. So this is supposed to be a samurai. Let me just go ahead and get a quick sample of the colors. So sampling colors, by the way. Like, just go through the colors. Just move over once. Go through the colors. All right, so there's two. And then when you see, if you go back to the colors, you have that in your most recent. So that's how you do it. So I'm going to select this guy now. Give it the most recent. Oh, so it's one and gray and two. Or I can make it something different. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like do, I, do I like that? Do I? No, 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 no. no. All right, I'll keep it. I'll keep, uh, yeah, sure. All right, and then duplication, glitch it down. Boom. Delete, delete. Hey. Turning nice. Um, oh, we have to move in the Vanguard Bulwark Shield Generator. I put that on top of the control station. Flip glitch the tail cowling back in. And then we have a Demos or a Hope Tech bumper on the back. Boom. All right, let's move in these guys. So maybe I shouldn't have put the tail caps back in yet. So we have the done 71 engines on both sides. Underneath that, we have the Hope 5 landing gear. Yep, Hope 5 landing gear. Then what I did toward the front is that I brought in a Hope Tech pipe so it's going to connect to the front of the done 71. Variation glitch that one in. Then another help set of Hope Tech pipes to the front of that. Just creating more texture. Flip glitch that one in. There. Look at that. All right. Same thing on the other side. Bring this bad boy in. Yeah, so it's connecting to the engine. Variation glitch that one in. And this piece, flip glitch that one in. Boom. Then, then, we have these... Uh, we put a little storage in there. We got the Caravel V102 cargo holds. It's going to flip glitch to the Demos control station right there. Flip it. And flip it. All right. And of course, if you feel like you want, you don't care about mobility as much, you can also increase the size of the um, cargo holds. And also, if you say, hey, you know what? I want more engines so I can put more cargo on here. You can also duplicate the Dunn 71s. I only put two in here, which saves a lot of power considerably. Like, so I decided to go that route. But yeah, if you want to duplicate the engines in the same position, so that way you can add more cargo, you can. Like, just FYI, this was originally supposed to be a big ship. 
that 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 held um, a lot of cargo. I I set up like two by twos, and I had two by two halves and everything. And then all of a sudden, it just gets got smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I end up with this. <laughs> like, okay, imagine this. Imagine this. And maybe I'll do it for the next another design. Maybe I'll try it out for another design. But like, this was supposed to be a long set of um, cargo, building up these, like building up against the the um, the shroud caps. And then in the middle of it, you had a long set of Hope Tech spine B. So you had this long spine that was connecting these guys, but yeah, like half stepped in and half stepped down, so this would be direct, like exactly in the middle. So that was the original concept, and it just like, it got smaller and smaller and smaller, and then it's like, oh, well, this is where we're at. <laughs> it's like, this is where we're at. So yeah, flip those guys in. I have an error. What's the error? I have unattached modules. What oh, got, whoops, not attached. I wonder what it is. Ah. Uh, Shield generator. Let's get you back in there. Still an error. <laughs> All right, that's weird. Hey, I, I, I wonder why did you not attach? They they get unattached when I brought this guy in. Oh, well, attached that time. Hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I downgraded the cockpit, but, of course, the, the enhanced version of this cockpit had additional cargo in there as well. So that's another means way to get additional cargo if you wanted to use a different cockpit. But for these builds, I like to go with the basic cockpit, but you can choose whichever cockpit you want. Want. You make you make it your own, guys. You you make you make it your own. Yeah. All right. That's it, everybody. That is your Pathfinder. Let's go ahead and take a little tour. Let's see what we got in here. Hello, Pathfinder. Oh. Grab the top. So here we go. Hello. Oh. Just let's go. Get in the Pathfinder, and let's find a path. To something. Hey, so you know, so something. here's the interesting thing. I, the reason why I chose that landing bay is because I'm able to flip it. That's the only reason why I say, hey, let's use this one because I can flip it. I mean, essentially, we could have had the other. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about adventure. it later. Anyway, here's the control station. <laughs> Demos control station. Anything Everyone's right? hanging out there. And here is that. A set of Hope Tech, that Hope Tech spine pathway to the um, Docker. So yeah, what's cool about this is that since this is thin and not as tall, you can. Well, let me see. I don't know. I would. I probably wouldn't clip anything down into it. But yeah, clipping things into the sides and not affecting the hab. That's something you could do. Definitely do with the spine halves. So that worked out. Um, and then up top we have what's this? The companion way. And then we go straight into the cockpit, which is kind of interesting because, like, wait, is that is that a clip? Oh, that's a clip. You see, can I? Where, oh, okay, you can still access everything. So there's the captain's locker. There's the. All right, so it's not too bad. That's not too bad. So this is clipping a little bit, so it's not. But anyway, like I said, you choose to do what you like to do. So that's a clip right here. That's a clip. But yeah, but for the most part, you have access to. Can I? Can I? Can I see through it? No, I can't. All right. Anyway, let's take a seat. Let's bring in our fun battle music. Once again, you find all the parts in this build found in a Google sheet in the description, linked in the description. Of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Ships clear and the sky is calling to us. Let's go. The sky is calling to us. To me? <laughs> it's calling to me? To me? All right. Achieving orbit now. Let's power up our systems correctly. All right, cool. Let's power up our grav drive. And let's take this bad boy to Cricks. Let's do it. Let's go. Woo! Woo! And while we're grav driving out here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey.
Yes, we are here. Yes. Come here, ghost. Come here. Boosting away. You're boosting. You're boosting. That guy was chunky. Boost away just for a little bit. Oh, wait. No, no. That guy's firing. That guy's firing. I want to recharge my shields a little bit. Come on. Come on, Vanguard. Bulwark shield generator. All right, there you go. Back into the fray. That was chunky. Got a lot of... Okay, this guy's... Okay, 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 okay. Reaper. Yeah. He's gonna disable this guy. Hey, you are disabled. Let's go ahead and give it the shield. Kiss of death. Kiss it. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Lock on. Destroy it. Hey. And then we blast away into the future. And that, my friends, is your Pathfinder. Hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. If you have any questions, please let me know. But once again, you can find all the... Wait, dude. Oh, I didn't have it all... Oh, there you can find all the ship parts found in a Google Sheet listed in the description somewhere. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. Everything does help out. Be honest, guys. Have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. And um, wrong, wrong button. Peace out. <laughs> thank you so much for all the support as always. Without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.